What's going on? It's Taylor. I'm here with a uh, another list that we do here on on the channel. Um, this time I'm doing it solo. Trade on here, so I'm being by myself. Um, quick note. So this is going to be a list of. Well, let me no quick note. Let's go back. So a couple days ago we saw the official trailer for the Batwoman. Um, well, a couple days from this current day of filming, we saw an official trailer for the Batwoman on CW. We got their schedule reveal. It's going to be at 8 o'clock on Sunday uh, evening. So it'll be 8 o'clock Batwoman, 9 o'clock Supergirl, I believe. So Batwoman will be the lead-in for Supergirl um, coming this fall when it does appear. So, And we also see that um, the version, the, 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 the villain shown is a mad hatter ask person but it's a female so with that being said i want you guys know that i wrote this script literally a week after the first appearance of batwoman on the aerovis aeroverse my apologies crossover um so i'll make a note here and say that anything that i anything that i have here as far as people who could be villains in the show go ahead and you can gender swap those because it's it'd be awesome because we are gonna we may see a different version of all these characters. So if they're women, they may stay women. If they're men, villains I'm gonna list, they may say men or may say they may go uh, a female version, which would be different. Um, again, if you haven't checked out, go check out the Batwoman trailer. Uh, you'll see the female Mad Hatter type person, um, and you, you can see his Mad Hatter because you'll see things in the background and you see her dress and stuff. Just look for little clues. You'll see it. Anyway. Um, coming this fall, like I said, Batwoman will be an official sh uh, show on the CW Sunday mor Sunday evenings, uh, eight o'clock, I believe I said. So I came together with a list of ten villains that I like to see on the show, show as villains. Um, again, maybe female, maybe male, who knows? Um, we know that Gotham and Gotham's Gotham was on Fox. It ended. It's on CW. They don't cross over. Um, CW and the movie verse don't cross over, so it's going to be its own entity. So we may get better versions. We may get uh, who knows what we may get. So again, this is nothing ten stones. Just me rambling off my little list of things I have to do of ten villains that I may like to see on the Batwoman show. Um, hopefully, they get a, a good version of them because um, sometimes on Gotham they weren't all that good. So here we go. Harley Quinn. Dr. Harleen Quinzel met and fell in love with the Joker while working at Arkham Asylum. Uh, she then joined the Colin Prince of Crime and changed her name to Harley Quinn. She can fight as well as make puns, and since we probably won't see the Joker in the show, this is a worthy substitute. Catwoman Selena Kyle has had a good, bad, and decent representation in live-action movies as well as a child version seen on Gotham, so it's about time that they try an adult um, TV version that can represent her as the badass that she has always meant to be. Riddler. Edward Nygma needs to be given a season-long arc that pushes Batwoman to her wits end, trying to figure out intricate riddles that he puts out. The best representation, in my opinion, has always been Batman the Animated Series, and I wouldn't be opposed to having a mirrored live-action version of that in the show. Camarouge. After stealing a suit that makes her invisible, Camarouge became an international thief and assassin for hire. This would be a great fight for Batwoman, as she will have to use her intelligence to battle a foe that she can't see. See now, she originally was an Arrow villain. This would be a great way for her to do a crossover. Blue Moon. Blue Moon is a modern-day werewolf as she gets her powers based on the phases of the moon. During a full moon, she's at full strength with her power almost on the level of Superman. This would be a great crossover with Supergirl and possibly Superman if they can write an episode that takes place in all in one night. Amygdala. Aaron Helsinger is an extreme version of Dr. Jekyll Mr. Hyde as he can go from a peaceful man to a huge rage monster. During an operation to remove a amygdala cluster, a reverse effect happened, giving Aaron super strength and endurance with a bonus attribute of mental instability and rage. Multiplex. After being part of the same explosion that gave Firestone his powers, Danton Black was given the ability to multiply himself with each copy having super strength. As this villain is originated from the Firestorm, this could lead to a Batwoman and Legend of, Legend of Tomorrow crossover. Um, the only thing is, let's hope that he doesn't keep his original costume because he looks like an airplane pirate. Alice. Holy crap, Batwoman has a long-lost twin sister, and her name is Elizabeth Kane. Elizabeth is a bit unstable and believes she is Alice from Alice in Wonderland, but that she didn't stop her from climbing the ranks of the 
religion of crime. In later stories, she gets reformed and becomes an ally to Batwoman, but let's hope that they stick with the crazy for the show. The Mortician. Porter Vito has the ability to resurrect the dead, which is odd, but when you learn he originally wanted to resurrect his dead parents, it turns kind of weird. Originally, this villain didn't have a long run, but a creepy October episode would work well for this easy defeatable villain. Killer Croc. Born with thick scaly skin, Waylon Jones was teased growing up and almost killed a child in school for bullying him. After serving time in a reform school and later in prison for murder, he joined a traveling carnival as a wrestler named Killer Croc. He's had one live-action representation, and he didn't get much screen time to do much, so we can't really see what he could possibly do. In the past, they've had crossovers, crossovers with the WWE, and I would think that a Braun Strowman and kind of with heavy makeup would make a great Killer Croc for an episode or two. All right, guys, so that was my list of 10 villains that I think that would be interesting to see on Batwoman again. Don't forget, you can interchange the gender all you want because who knows. Um, looking back on my list here, I do think that maybe the person we saw in the trailer wasn't a Mad Hatter um, person, but maybe Alice. So I may have been, I may have already been right. Who knows? Um, on that note, uh, I'll see you guys later, and thank you for watching.